40 kilometers in an hour 20. Nailed the mega shake today. Trainiacs aren't built overnight. We're in Trainiacs. It is, ooh, okay, going. 534, going to meet Pat just for a one on one little bike date. And it's in the minuses. Like, face out. Now if you are like me and you're allergic to the cold, you wanna be super warm, snowmobile lobster claw mitts. If there's anyone that knows how to keep hands warm in windy conditions, snowmobilers. Why is it so dark? Why is it so dark? Why is that, why is that picture so dark? Alright guys, there go, be back. Well, that was actually not too bad. These things kept me, in the words of Lloyd Christmas, you wanna use my extra gloves? My hands are getting sweaty. Well, that there was, uh, 40 kilometers in an hour 20. Just a good steady ride with old Coach Pat, keeping it around 220 to 30 watts. Good steady work, I enjoyed that. Mega shake. You guys wanna go outside? It's nice out there. Not really. It's just something you say. shake today. Well this is a bit of change of pace. I have to drive to work because we got to go on a shoot. Lots of shooting this week. We are getting a lot of shooting done and I am gonna cut through this house right here. Probably gonna have to grab the owner's manual and make sure I remember how to drive this car. Where's my car? One of the joys of Winnipeg is that they put sand all over the roads in the winter and then in spring, you've got to ride your bikes through it until they come and clean it up. Like, still sandy on the sidewalks. But they went and cleaned up our street last night and then they moved my car. Didn't tell me. Sorry for not bringing you guys on the bike this morning with Pat, but the lobster claw mitts and really just the lobster claw mitts that had no dexterity in my fingers to be working that GoPro. So I don't know if you guys were around when I talked to my buddy Mike about the Barkley marathons that 100 to 130 mile serious off-road intense marathon. We're going to do some work at his company today and he does 50K, 50 mile, 100 mile races. I think his end goal, ooh, I just bounced you off the side window. I think his end goal is to do the Western States 100. A lot of you ask how to increase your volume safely and if there's a guy I know that knows how to increase his volume safely, it's Mike. So I know that we're supposed to be doing work work and he's a big fancy business owner, but I'm gonna see if I can steal him away and convince him to talk about running. It shouldn't be hard. You've been on camera so much, I'm gonna steal you for 
I, I want a triathlon tearing you up because you were really popular last time you went. I'm not kidding. Do I have a following now? Yeah. It's pretty exciting. It, yeah. All right, gang. You might remember Mike from such vlogs as two weeks ago. Ish. Yeah. And Mike is an ultra runner. And a lot of you have been saying stuff like, I went from four hours of training a week to 12 hours of training a week, and now I'm very injured. Mike, being an ultra runner, I thought would be a good person to explain how you increase the amount of training that you do over the course of years, months, training programs. How, do you, how did you, over the years, build from running to running massive volumes. Yeah, so I, I think, uh, I don't know I've always followed it, but the, the rule of thumb that I heard or that's out there, right, is that your your long run should only increase by about 10% a week. Mm-hmm, that's Kind of I a say. good rule to, so going from four to 12, I think if you do the math, <laughs> it's higher than 10%. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So for me now, it's, it's really about maintaining a base level and then uh, as I start approaching races, I'll build that up again, right? So, you know, okay. if I'm in a kind of a, 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 not a training mode, I might be in that 20 to 25 miles a week. Like just to maintain a just level Just to of maintain, fitness. right? And yeah. that'll, that'll grow up to a peak of maybe 50 or 60 miles a week as I get closer to a race. And like, how long would it take you from going from that 25 miles to 50 miles? Could be a few months. Yeah. Could be a few months, yeah. And then, uh, and you know, and the other thing that I started doing more of is not doing more back-to-backs and less of those like crazy long runs. So you mm, still get the there, right? But doing the doubles, right? Mm. So now coming up to like a 50 mile race, like my peak training block on a weekend uh, might be something like a 25 miler Saturday morning 15 miles Sunday morning and five Sunday night. So it's kind of like 40 mm. miles in a 36 hour window, but it's not going out and running some crazy long right. uh, run that's gonna trash me. Right? I don't wanna put myself into a recovery cycle, right? Where now right. I've gotta recover, so. You're looking for total volume over a number of hours. Yeah, yeah. And whether that takes three workouts or, yeah. or one. We're doing the same thing this year with the marathon swims that we did before it was like go and build that long swim from two hours to four and a half and what we're trying this time around just because we're limited with pool space we don't have open water right now yeah we're going a friday morning a friday evening a saturday morning so in 36 hours we're doing something like 12k of swimming which is essentially what we were doing before, but in one shot. Which sounds, which is awful. Oh, which it just is. sounds awful. The one thing that you don't get with that broken up is the mental anguish that you get at hour four or five. But, but definitely wrapping up too quickly, uh, it just leads to injury. And, and I think what I found now over, I guess 20 years of racing in some capacity is getting to that start line healthy is at least half the battle if not more so setting that schedule and then slowly starting to dial up the volume and, and at the whole time just really kind of listening to your body make sure you're not pushing it too far uh, the other thing is is really having a, a schedule where i might be doing um, a build a build and then back off again right so that long yeah. run might actually go from say you know, 12 miles to 14 to 16, back down to 12, right? And now I'm doing yeah. kind of these three or four week cycles where, you know, you're, you're backing off and again, down. exactly. Yeah. Start to finish, somebody going from the couch to let's say a 50K trail run. How long would you say is a safe amount of time to do that? A year. A year, it's a long process, folks. Trainiacs aren't built overnight. It's true. I like that. All right. I'm gonna end it there. That's good. Wise words. That's good. Thanks. <laughs> All right, buddy. <laughs>